Hello, my name is Natasha Bacchus. I'm from Toronto. I run and do track and field. I've done the 100 meter, 200 meter, 400 meter, shot put, long jump, high jump, but now I focus on 100 and 200 meters. So, <laughs> well, uh, well, really from the age of 10 until I'm 38, you can do the math if you want, you can count. I remember when I was 10 years old and I was at school, I had a couple of really good friends, Jeffy and Naren. They were both boys and they would always place bets with each other. You know how boys are. Well, one day they bet me that I could beat them in a race and I agreed to the bet. Jeffy and I were at the starting line and Naren was the starter. He said go and I just took off running and beat Jeffy. Unbeknownst to me, they had told the PE teacher how fast I could run and he asked if I wanted to race with uh, other kids who were 10, 11, and 12 years old. I thought, why not? I like running. And all that led to where I am today. So thank you, Jeffy and Naren. For training, I usually focus on stairs and the sand hill because it helps strengthen the quads and the glutes. It's for strength and power, but it burns too. I also do the tire pull with a waistband. And I run with arm resistance at one minute intervals. You don't stop for that whole minute, and it's one of the hardest things I've done. My favorite memory is my first Deaf Olympics in 93. Well, I look back on that, and it was a real culture shock for me. There were two people who told me about the Olympics, and I didn't believe them. I had grown up competing in the hearing world with hearing athletes my whole life, and I doubted there was a Deaf equivalent. It was a definite shock. I didn't understand the universal signs they were using there. Athletes the same as me from around the world who loved running. I was shocked and inspired at the same time. I met a person from Sweden who became and is to this day one of my best friends. We're still in touch with each other and have been in three Deaf Olympics together. And I did thank those people later for enlightening me. My biggest accomplishment happened last year in 2015 when I broke the 100 meter record at the BC Masters for runners over 35. It made me feel so great to have broken a record in that age group. What I struggle with um, most would be navigating the two worlds, the deaf and hearing worlds, because when I run with other deaf people at a deaf event, I have access to visual cues, such as lights, such as lights that indicate the start of a race. Whereas with hearing races, there's a lot of guesswork on my part because those visual cues are missing and communication is limited. I almost missed a race once because I couldn't hear the start of it being announced. It's hard, but I love running so much that I'd never give it up just because of those struggles and the obstacles. I've learned a lot and gotten better at letting people know what I need and that it's very important to let me know that the race is going to start and how to do that. It's always a challenge and I have to be assertive. As for my black role models, that goes back to the two people I told you about who told me about the Deaf Olympics, Lavia Moncrief Kalia and Rohan Smith. They are the best role models I've ever had and I'm very blessed to have them in my life. Being successful means you've worked hard to achieve your goals. Trained hard, whether you win or lose, it will lead to a success. The important thing is to just keep trying and never give up. Just keep at it. Don't give up. Regardless of what happens, just keep going. Also, it's important to surround yourself with the right people, people who encourage you and support you on your road to success. Regardless of what's happening in your life, whatever stresses you have with your work or family, it's important to meditate or pray or contemplate. Try different things to calm yourself. Life is full of stressors. It's impossible to live without stress. So you have to find a way to deal with that stress. I have many goals, but the main one is to run until I'm in the grave.
if you want to become a top athlete, whether you're male or female, you have to train hard and believe in yourself. Listen to the people who tell you you can and ignore those who tell you you can't. The people who tell you you can will help you believe in yourself. That's the positive influence you need. So train hard and be patient. Don't complain. Just keep training hard and the results will be worth it. People will cheer you on and you'll feel great. My favorite motto, I have a lot, <laughs> but I guess my favorite one would be believe in yourself. Thank you for listening to my story and I hope you take my advice.